Hello everyone. How y'all doing out there in the, the internet world? It is, uh, it's October. It's right at the end. We're just a few days before Halloween. It's, uh, it's a brisk one out today. And I feel like I might have underdressed, but uh, I got Ollie. Ollie's dressed up in his little down jacket, so he's doing just fine. And today I wanted to chat with you a little bit about the place command. So I don't know how to refer to, like how to describe this, but I think the place has become very trendy <laughs> in a way. Um, I see a lot of trainers using place for all kinds of issues that I personally don't think place is going to help. <laughs> or at least that's not how I use the place command. So I thought I'd talk a little bit uh, today about like what the place command is, in my opinion, how I use it, what it's for, and what it can actually do for you and your dog in terms of training and daily life. So let's get into that. I'm out on the east end of Hamilton today, and uh, it's my annual uh, walked in the east end because I dropped off our van to get undercoated today and the only place that can fit the size of the van in to their uh, their garage door opening is over here on the east end so I usually make a video this time of year because I go for a long walk and explore this side of Hamilton that I don't get to see too often unless I'm out here for training appointments and I'm gonna use this time today like I said to talk about place so what is the place command well let me just sort of start by defining the place versus a stay. Now, if I put my dog into a stay, a sit stay, a down stay, Ollie, chickpea, let's take this little path. Then the only thing holding them there in that location where I told them to stay is the fact that they're not supposed to get up, right? They're supposed to hold the stay, they're supposed to stay in the body position that I left them in. So let's let's talk about the downstay since that's kind of closest to the place command and what I often see people confusing with a place command. So I've told my dog down and then I say stay and they're to stay lying there, right? They can't they can't get up and turn around. Then they would have broken the stay command. If they're getting up and turning around, how is that staying? <laughs> And if I'm okay with that, let's say I'm fine with, yes, my dog stood up, turned around and laid back down, and I'm okay with that. Well, where's the line? Can my dog stand up, take three steps, turn around, lie down? You get what I'm saying. There's a bit of a gray area here, and if we allow the dog to get up and turn around, then what else are we allowing? So it really, it leaves ambiguity in the command and we don't like ambiguity in dog training. We like things to be as clear and consistent as possible so our dog always understands the expectations. So our downstay is, is pretty rigid or pretty strict on the rules because that's how we get the stay command. <laughs> now, when we're talking about the place, the place is a border stay. That's how I look at it. So there's some sort of border, right? Typically a bed or a cot or something of this type and our dog is supposed to go on that object that provides a border and they're supposed to stay on it versus having to stay in a body position but here's where the controversy maybe comes in or the the way people do things differently now this this all sort of came up recently when I was working with a client who's doing some more advanced obedience with me and they had worked with a previous trainer and we were kind of going over the place command and the previous trainer had told this client that when their dog is on place it must lie down and never get up so i said to them if my dog has to lie down on place and is not allowed to get up then what is the difference between a down stay and the place command are we not then just creating a downstay on a bed? And if so, what is the point again of the place command? Couldn't I just downstay my dog on the floor? <laughs> like if the dog has to just lie on the bed in one position and not move, then what is the bed for? What, why do I need the bed? I'll just tell the dog to lie down on the floor and train them to hold the position. 
Hopefully that makes sense to you. So the way I train the place is like an invisible crate. That's what I tell my clients. Think of it like an invisible crate once it's trained, which means my dog goes onto the bed, the cot, the rock at the park, right? Like place can be anything. Place doesn't have to be just one specific bed. It's any sort of board or any sort of object that my, I'm telling my dog, go on that thing and hang out on that thing until I call for you or I release you. So we'll just assume it's a bed for argument's sake. So the way I train places, my dog has to go onto the bed and stay on the bed until I release them or call for them. But once they're on the bed, I don't care. Lie down, stand up, turn around, sit, look around, look out the window if the bed's by the window, uh, roll onto your back, <laughs> I don't care. The way I look at it is anything that my dog could physically do inside of a crate, let's say they're in their crate, anything they could physically do inside of that crate, they are more than welcome to do on the place command, on their bed. They just have to stay on the bed. That's the rule, just stay on the bed. What you do on the bed, it's up to you. Whew, okay, I had to switch up streets there for a minute and head in a different direction so I could get a little bit of the sun because my hands are freezing. It is a chilly one out this morning for sure. Okay, so now we've sort of defined what we expect. A downstay means our dog has to lie down and hold the position and stay there. And the place command means that they have to stay on an object such as a bed and remain on the object but do not have to necessarily remain lying down. The difference between the two then is the downstay is when I'm out in public, like now, and I just don't have a bed with me, so I tell my dogs to lie down and stay there. And the place command is typically like, you know, I would use it in my home, I would uh, use it, I use it at campgrounds when we're, we're out at camp, like at a campground with our dog and we're at our campsite, we can put the three dogs on their beds and they'll just chill out. We don't have to tie them out because they're, they're on place. Could use it at a family get together when it's time to eat and I don't want the dogs to bother anybody. So lots of uses for it, but it requires some sort of object, right? And right off the top, you saw the video, time-lapse video of our dogs on place for about an hour. And that's pretty typical in the morning. That's part of our routine. Um, after I feed the dogs and take them for an hour walk, we come home and I put them on place and they all relax. And as you saw in the video, for the most part, they're just sort of snoozing away peacefully on their beds. Um, but you saw they got up, they moved around a little bit. Totally fine, just stay on the bed. And you'll see that a lot of trainers use an elevated platform. Now, the reason I have elevated platforms is because that used to be, um, those used to hold crates in the back of our Honda Fit when I used to drive the Honda Fit for dog training and I had two crates back there and we still wanted some space um, to put things in the back of the, the Honda. So I originally built those elevated platforms so that the crates could sit in the back of the Honda. And then we still had, Holly, chickpea, let's go this way. Um, we still had space under the crates to stick stuff. So I didn't actually make those heel so that we would use it for place. But just so most people will understand this, the reason that we often have elevated beds, a cot, something like that when we're training place. Number one, it makes it easier for the dog to understand place because they have to actually get up onto something. So it's a bit clearer in the learning phase. They're like, ah, this is place. It's a little platform. I get up here and I got to stay here. And the second reason is it's much harder or I should say much more uncomfortable for the dog to sort of slink halfway off because if they're on a platform it's not going to be very comfortable if half of their body is lying off and half of their body is lying on so it can help with that tendency for the dog to try and army crawl slowly off the bed and slink away right so that gives you an idea of what like how i define place and also kind of how i use it and then the big change is this a downstay so i've told my dog to lie down and stay there and don't move maybe 10 minutes. That's the longest I might keep my dog in a down state. That's a long time to ask my dog to just lie down and not move. Sorry, got a noisy car coming through here. Try. Now, on place, as you saw in the time lapse, about an hour. I don't mind leaving my dogs on place for about an hour because they 
it's much more loose on the restrictions. They can get up, turn around, move around, and it's much more relaxed. But that's the command, go to your bed and relax. My apologies on this angle because I know that the sun is behind me and I could just be a black silhouette here, but I can't always just keep walking in the same direction so that I can get the best shot possible. I've said it before and I'll say it right now. Look, I'm out here in public walking around with a 360 camera on the end of a two and a half foot long pole looking like a fruitcake already. And uh, I'm just trying to be out here walking my dogs and talking to you. So, you know, I don't always, this isn't a, a movie production. I'm not always trying to get the exact right shot for everybody. Um, okay, so we've defined place. We've talked about um, kind of the rules, the differences between a downstay and a place command. Now, sorry everybody, but I'm not telling you how to train this. And the reason I don't tell anyone how to train in a video like this, I don't just put out a blanket, this is how you train this. It always starts from the same core technique and principles when I'm training anything, the sit, the down, the stay, the place, the recall, right? But my job as the dog trainer is to see how your dog responds and to make, make adjustments, fine tune, tweak things so that it works for your dog individually. And when you just give a blanket statement, it just doesn't work like that, I don't believe. That's not how dog training works. Dog training isn't just technique A and then every dog does result B. That's, that's just not how it works. So um, training place is something I like to do in person with the client so we can see how the dog's responding and make adjustments as we go. So we're just defining kind of what place is and what I said, the, the thing that inspired me to make this video was that I was just, for the last year or two years, I've been seeing a lot of different versions of trainers using the place to solve everything from aggression to counter surfing, <laughs> like you name it. They're trying to solve everything. To me, this command is used when you just need your dog under control. You need them to stay somewhere so that you can do something else or you've got guests over and you don't want your dog to bother any of the guests. Like, to me, it's used the same way that you might use your crate for 30 minutes to put your dog in there to relax and calm down or something like that. That's the intended use of it. One of the things that can teach your dog is impulse control, which is very important because in my opinion, pretty much every single problem that people have with their dogs is because their dogs lack impulse control. So certainly a great um, obedience command to train to teach your dog impulse control. Look, you gotta stay put for a little bit, you gotta control your impulses, you gotta control your behavior and your excitement, you gotta stay on the bed and hang out and relax. So it's definitely great for teaching impulse control. Super good. Um, how it works for other behaviors, I don't know. I don't know what these people are attempting to do but I've had a number of clients I've worked with that have been to previous trainers and I hear everything from they had an aggressive dog, dog's aggressive when people come into the home, so they train it on place, so now the people can come into the home. Now, will that, if the dog is rock solid on place, like truly rock solid on place, can that help you? Sure, you have some guests over, the dog doesn't really like having guests in the home, but now the dog is trained to look, just stay on the bed, relax, the guests won't bother you, you don't bother the guests. If it's not rock solid, the dog will just pop off the bed and bite the guest anyway. So <laughs> it's gotta be really, really solid in order to even help you with something like that. But I'll point this out. Let's say we get the dog rock solid, it holds place, it goes and lies down on the bed and the guests come in and it's growling or doing something. I don't know how that helps you move forward with the behavior. It just It's a band-aid that just leaves you in, in limbo land. Like, how is that getting the dog past this? How is that, how is that working to re-socialize the dog with people properly? Like, it's not doing any of those things. It might work as a stopgap so that while you're working to re-socialize, you can have people into your home, but it's not going to fix aggression, okay? It just doesn't do that. I've also seen like trainers posting on Instagram or owners posting on Instagram and they got their dog like like up on a ledge or something in a sit stay and it says training place and I'm like there's no boundary I see this all the time where there's no boundary they claim that they're training the place command yet the dog is not on some sort of border there's no boundary there so that's a sit stay 
or that's a downstay because staying without a border is just a stay so i don't know why trainers and owners are calling this a place command the dog has to be placed on something that's the whole point they're being placed on a bed they're being placed on this platform at the park they're being placed on they're placed on it and if the dog's just lying there doing a downstay then that's a downstay that's not a place command there's no border has to be a border in my opinion for it to be a place command if that makes sense so I see place just getting overused, overtrained for things that it has no bearing on. It just, it's not solving these problems. It's not moving the needle forward. It's not the right training technique or, or whatever for what these people are trying to get past. The place command is wonderful. Once it's trained, it should be thought of and used like an invisible crate in order to keep control of your dog for short periods of time and it's a lot more relaxed than a downstay, okay? But that's my opinion on the place command. And at this point, my hands are getting pretty cold, so I'm gonna tuck the camera back away and enjoy the rest of the walk with Chickpea and Ollie. Hopefully you were able to take something out of this. Ollie, Chickpea, and I'll see you in the next video.